Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. For the last few days I have been in the city of San Cristobal de las Casas. I think that's how you say it. I'm gonna have to work on this. Anyways, after being in the mangroves for so long, surrounded by nature, the hustle and bustle of the city life has been great, but I also noticed that I need to retreat a bit. So today I'm going on a hike in the Huitepec uh, Reserve, which is very close and apparently it's an easy hike, but it's also easy to get to from San Cristobal. So I'm really happy to go out and walk among the trees. Um, so yeah, first I have to go get myself either a bus, a taxi or a colectivo. So I'm gonna see which one goes first and get there now. Well, it looks like it's a very foggy morning. So I need to walk to the Santo Domingo church and this is where I can find a colectivo. I checked online which one, there are two that are gonna head off that way. So uh, yeah, that's where we're gonna go now. Like I said, there are two taxis uh, or two colectivos that will go that way, which are the San Roman or La Quinta. So that is what I'm going to be looking for when I'm at the Domingo Church. Um, and then all I have to do is ask him to stop at the Huitepec. So I hope it works out easily uh, since my sense of directions are not always that great. We'll see what happens. After walking to a busy shopping street near the church, I found multiple colectivos that were leaving in the direction of La Quinta and San Roman. I'm in the Colectivo, it was really easy to find. Uh, the trip is about 15 minutes and it cost me eight pesos. And I get dropped off right in front of the Eco Reserve. I have made it! <laughs> Once I arrived, I was expecting to pay a 30 pesos entrance fee, but there was no one at the entrance upon arrival, although the gates were open. So I decided to do the hike and pay on the way out if I saw anyone. Well, the first part of the hike here are all those stairs from the entrance up to this first resting hut. And I'm already so out of breath. I need to do hikes more often. Anyways, I'm also quite hot. So I'm gonna take off my jersey to continue the hike. It's interesting because this place is on an inactive volcano. And also it's the first glimpse of cloud forest that I'm gonna get. And that's so close to the city. That's pretty amazing. It feels so good to be out here again. This is such a beautiful little escape from San Cristobal. It is so close. Also at the entrance, you was, I was supposed to get a sheet with the answers because there are a few questions on the trail. Um, so, But because there was nobody at the entrance, I didn't get the answers. So yeah, I just see the questions <laughs> as I'm walking around the trail. The nice thing is if you would be taking your time and maybe doing a picnic, you've got a couple of these resting areas. So it has a nice benches and a table for you to actually like sit down, have something to eat and then continue. Because the hike is not that long, you could take however long you want by bringing food, you know, and taking your time, taking your time at these resting places uh, and just enjoying being out here. Because uh, San Cristobal and this place are at a higher altitude, the weather does differ in temperatures quite quickly. So this morning, it was super chilly. I had to put my hoodie on and stuff, but it's warming up pretty quickly. The Huitapec Ecological Reserve is home to hundreds of species of plants, including some rare and endangered species. Also, this place is home to many species of birds, which I definitely heard, but I didn't see, and home to various types of mammals, such as squirrels. There are, however, tons of little fly things and insects that for some reason, really want to make themselves comfortable in my eyes. <laughs> so yeah, fun times. So I am now climbing higher. It is becoming sort of misty. We are going into the clouds and for there the reason the name Cloud Forest. Oh man, I'm loving this. Okay, there it 
like a really crazy insect landing on me and trying to eat me. Okay, I'm gonna put my sweater back on because this is crazy stuff. And I don't even know if I'm on the trail anymore because there was a very unclear sign. It was very clearly signed. Now it's not so clearly signed and now shit is attacking me. Okay, well, this is where I decided that this is where I came from. I thought maybe I'd have to go straight up there and then I'll turn around and come down here. But obviously I have to go up there and not into the scary bushes where all the bugs want to attack you. Oh, okay, breathe. Let's go. Okay, made it to the third resting hut. Although this walk is not very long and it shouldn't really be that physically demanding, it is a lot of upwards still at the start. So I'm going to take this time to appreciate some nice agua, water, and a five minute break. <laughs> Unfortunately here in Mexico, I don't have my reusable water bottle. So I have got this plastic bottle that I'm just using and using and using until it's non-usable. It's not the same as having a reusable water bottle, but at least I'm trying to minimize my plastic as I'm traveling. Cheers. And final resting it. I have made it back on foot to the track that I was already walking up at the start, so that means that the hike is already coming to an end. Oh man, <laughs> these insects, uh, mosquitoes. Anyways, oh, for goodness sake. Okay, I'm just gonna stand still and swap my face while I tell you guys. Anyways, I'm already on the path going down that I came back, uh, that I came up from. So that means that the hike is coming to an end. Um, overall, I think, yeah, actually going up is slightly physically demanding. I guess it is a, a steep way up, but coming down is chill. <laughs> that went super quickly. Now that, that is a clear sign. It is definitely the end of the hike. I've almost made it back to the main entrance. If you're gonna be just hiking, this hike is gonna be done in no time. So I would suggest bring a friend, bring some food, take some stops, enjoy being out here, eat, have something to drink, and then continue away. Make it, make it a nice little getaway from the city because it is only a stone throw away from the city. So it's an amazing way to just be out in nature, quickly escape the buzzing city life, recharge a bit and then head back. So take your time here. Like it's, it's really nice. It's uh, been really quiet and yeah, the hike <laughs> going up was uh, lekka or nice as the English word would actually be. But um, yeah, just, just enjoy it. You're near the city anyway, so you might as well take your time while you're here.